All right, Yael Gore, let's play. So it's a five minute game, a little bit slower, so I actually get to comment on my ideas. So you guys, uh, my Accelerate Dragon is uh, C5, G6. And I could play Bishop G7 or take the pawn. Let's take the pawn. Yeah, that line is considered not so bad if you know what you're doing. E5, Knight, C6. Queen is getting hit. Yeah, Queen is getting hit again. Sometimes they put the Queen on B3. Queen is getting hit again. It's like a ping ball. Every move is getting is hitting the Queen. So pinball machine d6 d5 couple of options for me uh, let's think here if d6 knight g5 hidden f7 i can take on e5 i don't mind that i can also start with bishop g7 first all right let's do bishop g7 first and then we're gonna keep our options open e5 is still hit I could castle and then blow up in the game. Yeah, thanks coach Paul. That was a nice game, previous game. So now I'm thinking about hitting this guy. D6. Let's go for it. I got to activate my dragon bishop. Bishop c6, I don't mind this trade, obviously. So here's a question, pawn takes or queen takes? If I do pawn takes, he's probably thinking about rook d1, but then I have this knight e5 idea. Queen takes, 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 the end game probably is not that bad, but all right, let's keep the queens on the board just to get more ideas going. Here I may have d5 as, as well. I wanna go here. This is a nice uh, anchor for my knight. If he takes, I can take with the pawn or bishop. He's a little bit behind. Once he gets the pieces out, he's okay. Uh, a6 may be an idea. The bishop has to go to e2. All right, let's see. Can I play bishop g4? It's awfully tempting to pin him up. Bishop e2 maybe is forced then takes the massive trades don't do much. Yeah, bishop e2 is okay. Really? That's uh, a little bit ambitious. You're allowing this pin, Mr. Yagor. So many options for me. Which way to take with the bishop or with the knight? If I take with the bishop pawn takes, how do I put more pressure? If I take with the knight pawn takes, the d pawn is weak. Maybe I do nothing. If I play six and bishop e2, all right. For the lack of a better move, I'm going to do this just to double the pawns. He had to do that. And let's just get our queen somewhere out of this annoying pin. Bishop e3, sort of logical move. Let's put some pressure here. Bishop e2 is definitely probably the best. So now this pawn is protected by the bishop, but uh, the knight is a little bit awkward. And I wanted to put pressure on the knight, so I'm gonna go here. And rather the pawn too. Actually, he has no threat. So the dragon is finally swinging here, guys. These two pawns kill on the knight. He actually still has no threat. Bishop e5 is not a threat. 
So let's get everybody closer together. I actually can't have any threats either. Everything is protected. I don't have any threats yet. But all right, finally I'm getting somewhere, guys. You see, my whole strategy is now working. So good job, Yagor, for holding on for that long. But the position is crumbling little by little. Rook d5 may drop the pawn. King g2 perhaps. Maybe that's his best try. So here maybe here queen e4. Was that his defense? Rook f6, queen e4, queen takes, pawn takes. If knight takes, bishop takes. All right, in that case, I'm going to bring some more firepower. He's barely holding on. All right, now this should be good for me. So bishop takes, rook takes. Queen g2. All right, so now what's his threat? Maybe bishop h6. He wants to take play knight d4. Queen e4 is interesting. I like this move. Rook e1 doesn't work. I take twice. So now my queen is protected. My rook can move. He's thinking about it. Keep in mind, guys, the B-point is still weak. That's a deep thing for him. And if you're just joining us, this is a Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein. I'm doing my show Chess Brawl, uh, Boston Brawl here on uh, Twitch and chess.com, playing everyone who wants to play me and playing my beloved Accelerate Dragon. My opponent fell asleep. Difficult decision. All right, so he decides to offer me the queen swap, which I'll probably take with this move. So it takes, takes. Actually, hold on guys, did he just blunder? Let's see if you can find my next move. I think he blundered. So my logical reaction is to take, take, and then move the rook out of the way. But actually, I think I have that move. And that's game over. GG. GG, Yagor. Good job for holding that long. Yeah, now just to mop up. So I can just take all his pawns. Yeah, it's interesting how a lot of these guys don't resign. The previous guy did not resign down a queen. Um, it is blitz after all, so everyone gets their chance. King e3 drops the, chain, the, the rook. Just keep running. Run forest run, as they say. You can take that pawn, it's free. Then obviously he is completely lost if he does that. All right, let's go here. Where is the king going?
All right, he lost on time. No, Yago, I'm not going to play you again because you did not return.